Hi, I'm John Neoptolemos. I'm the Professor of Surgery at the University of Liverpool in the United Kingdom. And I'm here today to present to you the results of the SPAC4 trial undertaken by the European Study Group for Pancreas Cancer. And we conducted a multicenter international open labelled randomised controlled phase 3 trial of adjuvant combination chemotherapy comprising gemcitabine and capecitabine versus standard monotherapy gemcitabine in patients with resected pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma. The trial was supported by Cancer Research UK and was conducted from the Cancer Research UK Liverpool Cancer Trials Unit. As a way of background, pancreas cancer now causes more deaths from breast cancer in the United States and has in fact become the third commonest cause of death. There is a rising incidence of cancer death rates around the world, nearly 340,000 new cases worldwide, with 331,000 deaths in 2012. In the United States, there were 53,000 new cases and nearly 42,000 cases of death estimated for this year by ASCO itself. There has been a small improvement over the last few decades in the one-year survival rate, rising from 10% in, 90, in the early 1970s to 21% in 2010 to 2011. And this is largely based on the wider use of chemotherapy. These are the overall results, bearing in mind that approximately 40% of all patients do not receive any treatment. The SPAC-1 trial established a, an important step change in the management of resected pancreas cancer, showing an improvement with 5-fluorouracil for six months of 16% five-year survival rate compared to surgery alone of 8%. And chemoradiation only showed a survival rate of 11% at five years. The SPAC-4 trial required 722 patients in order to show a difference between monotherapy and the combination arm. It was a simple one-to-one -one randomization and this was undertaken at the Liverpool Cancer Trials Unit. Patients were followed up three monthly. There were 92 sites that were opened in six countries including Sweden, Germany, France and countries of the United Kingdom. Target accrual was achieved ahead of target. The results fall into two groups. The first set of results show that there were a similar number of serious adverse events between those that were on gemcitabine monotherapy and those that had received the combination of gemcitabine and capecitabine. When we look at treatment related serious adverse events, we see again that the proportion of serious adverse events was similar between the two. There were obviously some differences within the groups, such as more hand and foot syndrome with GEMCAP, but the percentage here was very low. And overall, uh, the treatments were very well tolerated. For example, grade three, four fatigue occurred in 5% of the GEM patients and only 6% of the GEMCAP patients. So the new treatment was very well tolerated. The second component of the results showed a significant improvement in overall survival with a hazard ratio of 0.82, which was significant, taking the five-year survival rate of surgery plus gemcitabine of 16% to 29% for those patients given the combination. So in conclusion, adjuvant gemcitabine and capecitabine is the second step change for resected pancreas cancer taking us up to a five-year survival rate of 29% with manageable and acceptable toxicity. This combination is now the standard of care for resected pancreas cancer. Thank you.